Hello everybody. Well, I'm kind of on the subject of soldering iron, solder suckers, and things of that nature, so I needed a new tip for this one. This is an old Ungar uh, Model 7760, which is one of their modular modular versions, which means you can actually take the, the heating element out of it and replace it with other ones, this, that, and the other. This is a 33 watt element. I've had this thing for, God, man, 20, 20 or so years. Uh, this company had been purchased by Weller sometime in the past, I believe, so these are still around a little bit, or they had the equivalents in the Weller blue, but I really like this pencil. Now, originally this had the copper tip on it, and this is the copper tip, hopefully you can see it. Uh, I ordered two replacement tips. These are now plated, you know, but at that time, that's what was on it, and they used to sell these copper tips at Radio Shack, but they no longer do, so... I picked a couple of these tips up from Mauser. You know, these are a quarter quarter inch screw on tips, you know, but you can see how long this tip eventually was. Uh, an uncoated copper tip, the copper over time will actually dissolve into the solder. Uh, so, you know, reshape it, refile it, whatever, and then you end up with this. So these should last a lot longer. They still do wear out. This will probably make the rest of my life, these two, and they were about six bucks a piece, but I'm going to go ahead and put one in and get it started to heat up because I'm going to speak about seasoning a new tip. You know, and this is just what I know. You know, there there may be other better ways, but this is this is what I know. So this is what I'm going to do. And I have one of these uh, holders here. Got from Radio Shack many many years ago. They still sell these. They're like ten bucks. Highly recommended. They come with a sponge. Mine had worn out throughout the years. I've got this. Okay, it's time. still heating up here. But whenever you put on a brand new tip or get a new iron, the first thing you want to do is season the tip by wetting it or tinning it. And if you don't, you'll build up an oxidation layer here and the solder will just want to bead up and fall off. It won't tin and stick onto the tip. So I'm trying to do this in real time here so you can see how to do it. So I'm just testing it until the solder starts to melt. But when it does start melting, I will coat the tip with solder. I'll clean it off with this damp sponge and I'll do that two or three times uh, to get it seasoned to where it, it will actually keep the solder on it. It's just now starting. Just coating the entire tip with the solder. Gonna let that burn on there just for a minute and now I'm gonna clean it off. I'm just gonna do this a few times. It's already starting to look really good. I need to eat some lunch. I'm shaky. Like I said, just doing it a few times. And there you go, that's it. This one's ready to roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in. This is basically the procedure if, if after you're done with your job of soldering. Uh, clean off your tip of the solder that's on it. Put on some fresh solder on the tip. Unplug it, let it cool down and store it. And that's the way you should be storing your irons, clean, fresh, and ready for the next time you use it. And that bit of solder on there will protect the tip. The next time you break it out to use it, get it hot, clean the tip off, tin it with some fresh solder, and go to work. So always clean your tips before you put them away, and I don't want to hear any jokes about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck.